Hey everyone, Finesse here again. Today I'm going to show you Queen's Blade Captain Liliana from the Queen Blade Rebellion. So this is her box. I think that's the company maker there who made this figure. So I thought I got this figure because she's very cute looking. But by the way, I like the way her outfit was and the way she looks so nice. I like playing this spray. I haven't watched all the series, but I really like this figure of Queen's Blade character. So. That's one there. So this is Captain Liliana. The box is very nice, all the pictures of her. That's the figure. So this is the other part of the box. There's more Japanese writing. And the same takes the same picture on the same side. Uh, same picture on the same side. So then go open her up. Now so here she looks like on her stand, Captain Liliana. So the phone can actually focus on her the way she looks. It's not really focusing on her yet. Like I said, there's her sword. Her sword's a bit kind of sharp near the edge. Well, so that's what I can tell you. So no, this one does not. You can't take off her clothes. There's, there is one like her that you can take off her hat. It's like a magnet. This one is not. You can't take off any bit of her clothes on this one. I actually thought this was the one that you could. And I found out there was a dearer one. That actually does take off all the clothes of her. But also there is a blonde version of Liliana too. That it has all red clothes. And she's blonde. And I think I like the blonde one. But like I said. It's a bit dear of my at the moment to get it. So this one is still beautiful. It still is the exact same figure as the dear one, but still this one is you can't take any bit of her clothing off. So that's what's the difference between this one. But still beautiful. For once people don't really want to take the clothes off or mess around with it. So this one's perfect. So I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get my camera in the moment because the sword keeps in my way. So this what she really looks like. She's very beautiful looking. I think I think she's most of the best looking figure of the Queen's Way to my opinion because the other ones I really wouldn't take a fancy of buying any one of them but her. Because I think she looks more better looking and cuter than the other girls from that series. It's just my opinion but I just think she's more better. She stands out than the other girls. So there's her big chest showing. So I know people like seeing mostly the chest on these figures. And mostly her outfit's very nice. Great detail on the artwork. Her hair is actually perfect. It's like a shade of a bit of a, a white, like a greyish pink. And a little darker pink than the hair looks like. And that's mostly as to her boots, the stand. Her hat. Inside of her. It's a very nice looking figure. Sword sticks like that out. There's no other way you can have it upwards. With, so it goes like that. So it's mostly just a sharp edge at the end. It's very sharp. For a sword. So that's what she looks like again. Very nice looking. Her skirt detail, very nice looking. Just trying to get her to look at her face better. My camera wasn't really picking up earlier what she looked like. She looks cute looking. And if people like wants a panty shot like people do, she is wearing pink knickers. You really can't really see underneath that jacket. So she is wearing pink knickers, if you're all wondering. So it's nice red flow at the back of the jacket. So it's a very nice looking figure. So that was Queen's Belayed Rebellion, Captain Liliana. So like, comment, subscribe to my channel, guys. So I'll see you again for more anime stuff that I have.